If you're on the lookout for a great new show to help teach you about business, check out The Hustle Daily Show, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business builders. The Hustle Daily Show is your daily dose of business, tech, news, and original stories to keep you in the loop on what's trending in business. Just like here, it's a daily podcast on which their team of writers break down the biggest business headlines in 10 minutes or less and explain why you should care about them. They'll also do deep dives on topics like a man who won the lottery 14 times and why it's nearly impossible to buy an original Bob Ross painting. I checked out a few episodes of The Hustle Daily Show and to me, it was quick, educational, and feels like the perfect show to pair with OWD. So search for The Hustle Daily Show in your favorite podcast app, like the one you're using right now. You'll be glad you did. I'm Jason Palmer, one of the hosts of The Intelligence, The Economist's daily current affairs podcast. The Economist's award-winning shows make sense of what matters, from our special series on China's president to our weekly podcasts on business, technology, and American politics, our journalists provide fair, in-depth reporting on the events shaping the world. To get the annual plan for less than $2.50 per month, search for Economist Podcasts Plus to start listening today. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1228. Cash out or hold out? Is it time to sell your company? by Christine Comaford of smarttribesinstitute.com. And I'm Dan, your host of the show, and uh, welcome back to Optimal Work Daily, where I read to you every single day from some of the best blogs around. So let's do that right now as we get into our post from Christine and optimize your life. Cash Out or Hold Out? Is it time to sell your company? By Christine Comaford of smarttribesinstitute.com. Are you slaving away building a business with no plan or process or path to one day cash out? If so, I think I know why. One, you're so busy running your business, you don't have time to plan your exit. Or two, you've likely not built a business that you've sold for many millions. Or if you have, you've likely not done it five times yourself and helped others do it 50 times. So you're not sure what the process is. Why and when to sell. Every week, CEOs call me asking for help in growing their business. The majority want to one day sell all or a portion of their company, either to outsiders or to their own team. Why sell? Reason number one, the seven Ds. Generally, I find founders want to sell their company when one or more of the famous Ds are present. Disenchantment, disability, disagreement, disintermediation, excessive debt, death, divorce, disease. Guy Beaudry, managing director of STS Capital, says, quote, When one or more of these Ds are in play, we can be assured that a business owner is interested in divesting of his or her business. End quote. If you've got one or more of the seven Ds, it's time to sit down with a trusted advisor to explore your options. One of them will likely be able to start grooming your business to sell for top dollar starting now. Keep listening to learn how. Reason number two. Opportunity knocks, private equity version. Since the beginning of 2012 and even going back to the second half of 2011, an increasing amount of capital has become available, especially from private equity groups who are coming under pressure to invest the funds they've been sitting on. Funds that are in year two or three of their investment cycle and have only deployed a small portion of their capital are especially in trouble. How big is the private equity overhang? $400 billion. Yes, friends, there's in excess of $400 billion of capital needing to be deployed. These funds better get busy. Reason number three, Opportunity Knocks, international version. On another front, we're witnessing an increased desire by Asian investors, especially the Chinese and the Japanese, to invest abroad, and especially in the Americas. STS Capital Partners is actively involved in providing Asian buyers with opportunities to invest with a typical range of investment from 100 million and up. Hmm, could take care of one's expansion capital needs, yes? Reasons number four through six. Reality check, aka what matters to the market. In addition to the three reasons so far, let's overlay the reality check reason on top. Atlas Capital Strategies lists three. A, the market for your business and or industry is currently drawing a lot of attention with strong market valuations. B, 
your company is growing and posting modest revenue and earnings growth, and your industry is experiencing moderate M&A activity with reasonable valuations. Or C, your industry is out of favor with acquirers and investors, or a particular company is struggling to grow and can expect anemic valuations. Should you stay or should you go? Based on which is true for you, here are your alternatives. Go or stay. Sell the entire company. Appropriate for category A to allow you to retire, stay for a term to see if it's still fun, or move on to your next venture. Or stay. Sell part of the company. Ideal situation for category A and B to get partial liquidity now and continue to drive your business to the next level to reap a greater payday in the future. Or stay. Acquire another company. Suitable for any of the three categories to boost top-line growth and improve earnings for the combined entities. Or stay. Focus on organic growth. All companies can benefit from such a strategy. However, categories B and C have a more pressing need to assess core product and service offerings, realign the organization, and better manage expenses to prepare to sell when the market improves for your industry. You can always get what you want. Another great point my friends at Atlas Capital Strategies make is that before you execute an engagement letter with your advisor, be sure to articulate your ideal legacy. Consider these two factors. What you need. This is the rational goal to understand how much money is required on an after-tax basis for you to accomplish your goals and what you want. Three highly emotional issues are then addressed that create the true legacy for you as the business owner. Number one, your role. You may desire to remain with the business as CEO to take the business to the next level, or you may want to be named chairman so you can still be involved. Perhaps you wish to limit your operating role to one facet of the business, such as sales or product development. Or, like many, you want to exit completely as quickly as possible following the sale and transition. 2. What happens to your employees? Do you want to protect each and every employee with zero layoffs? Do you recognize some reductions in the workforce are inevitable to improve the efficiency of the business, Or are you okay with wholesale reductions in force to take advantage of synergies when merging with a larger entity? This often results in a very high valuation for the business as well. And three, what happens to the entity? The two outcomes here are whether the business remains an independent operating entity or subsidiary, or the people, products and services, IP, and other assets are simply being absorbed by an acquirer with the original entity being dissolved. Companies with little brand equity in their niche usually consider a sale to a larger, more successful enterprise to be highly beneficial for their customers and employees. So let's say that you've decided you want to sell and you've made the serious decisions listed. Now let's cover the proven process. The net-net on boosting value. In the 50 companies I've helped build to sell with purchase prices ranging from $12 million to $425 million, There are six key essential steps to a glorious liquidity event. One, motivation. Design your business to be sold for the amount you want, on the terms you want, at the time you want. Two, momentum. Get and keep massive momentum so your company grows quickly yet sanely, increasing its value to acquirers on a monthly basis. Three, model. Develop a business model that is scalable, has defensible diversity, and is supported by efficient operations to optimize profit. Four, MVPs. Create a high-performance team that consistently delivers results and innovation to boost your company's value. Five, money. Develop a sales and marketing process and strategy that delivers compelling and reliable revenue to your company year over year. And six, mentor the right influential advisors and alliances who will raise your profile with potential acquirers and significantly increase your company's credibility and thought leadership. Ultimately, the goal is to make your company irresistible to potential acquirers. Let's say that you have a fantastic seasoned executive coach and they are helping you and your team with what we've talked about. Wonderful. And if you don't have one, get one now. You just listened to the post titled Cash Out or Hold Out? Is it time to sell your company? By Christine Comaford of smarttribesinstitute.com. 
You want consistency and quality, but you also want variety and freshness. If you run a business, you want it all. With nuts.com, you can get so many different delicious snacks and ingredients and know that they will consistently exceed your expectations. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for the highest quality foods for business. They offer delicious office snacks, corporate gifts, and wholesale ingredients. And over 50,000 companies choose nuts.com for their business needs, from offices to hotels to restaurants and retail stores. And we've even loved their product as remote workers. Nuts.com has sent us plenty of snacks that keep us energized and focused so we can deliver the best work that we can. Nuts.com makes ordering for your business quick and easy. Right now, Nuts.com is offering new business customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $125 or more at nuts.com slash O-W-D. So go check out all the delicious options at nuts.com slash O-W-D. You'll get that free gift and free shipping when you spend $125 or more. That's nuts.com slash O-W-D. Shipping can make or break a sale, so optimize how you ship your orders with ShipStation. They make it easy to automate and manage orders no matter how big your business grows. And they might even be able to help reduce shipping and warehouse costs. So optimize and keep up your momentum for growth with ShipStation. Sign up for your free 60-day trial now at ShipStation.com and use the code P-O-D. That's ShipStation.com with the code P-O-D. And thank you so much to Christine for another great post. For over 30 years, leadership and culture coach, serial entrepreneur, and New York Times bestselling author Christine Comaford has helped leaders navigate growth and change. She specializes in applied neuroscience, which helps her clients achieve tremendous results in record time. As an entrepreneur, she built and sold five companies with an average ROI of 700%, and she was a software engineer in the early days of Microsoft and Apple as well. Christine is a human behavior expert, a leadership columnist for Forbes.com, and the New York Times bestselling author of Power Your Tribe, Smart Tribes, and Rules for Renegades. So come by smarttribesinstitute.com to learn a lot more and check out their resources. So that is gonna do it for this episode. I appreciate you joining me here as always, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for another post, and that is where your optimal life awaits.